Okay, in this video we are going to work through some completing the square, but where we've got it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not 1. And surprisingly enough, that actually causes a bit of a problem. Um, and so we've got to do a little bit of preemptive work in order to complete the square properly. So I'm going to work through these seven examples, and hopefully through that you can see that there is a, um, uh, a rigorous method uh, that is really working here. Okay, so lots of practice to go through. So let's go with number one. We've got 2x squared uh, minus 4x minus 1 to start off with. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing that we do um, is that some teachers will explain this by factoring the 2 the coefficient of the x squared out of the all three terms. Personally, I just go for the first two terms. Um, it makes it a little bit easier when I'm just multiplying the brackets out. Okay, So I'm going to factor the 2 out of the first two terms, like so. Okay, So that's the first thing to do. What you do next is you complete the square on what is inside that bracket. So, if I completed the square on what's inside that bracket, I would have x take away half of the 2, which is 1, squared, and we are always going to take away whatever this number is squared. So take away 1 squared, which is 1. Close the bracket, so that's completing the square on the inside, and I've still got that minus 1 on the outside. So what we now need to do is just to multiply this through. I've got two lots of this bracket, two lots of the minus one, and I've still got that minus one on the end. And so I'm left with two lots of x minus one squared, take away three. And that's now in completed square form, where you would be able to identify, uh, for example, the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola y equals two x squared minus four x minus one by identifying it at one minus three. Okay? So that is why it is useful. Okay, so that's our first one there. So if we have a look at number 2, 3x squared plus 12x minus 3. Same method, factor the 3 out of the first two terms. Complete the square on the inside. So half of the 4 is 2 squared. Take away that number squared. And we've got the, make, uh, the take away 3 on the outside. Multiply through, 3 lots of the bracket, 3 lots of the minus 4, and we've still got the minus 3. So 3 lots of x plus 2 all squared, minus 12, take away 3, it's minus 15. Okay, so that is example number 2. Number 3. 4x squared minus 64x plus 10. Factor the 4 out of the first two terms. Right, so 64 divided by 4 is 16. Complete the square on the inside. Half of the 16 is 8. Take away the square of that. Still got the plus 10. Now we multiply through, so 4 lots of x minus 8 all squared. Then we've got 4 lots of 64. So uh, let's just uh, make sure I don't mess that up. Uh, 256, okay, so 256. And we've got the plus 10. So 4 lots of x minus 8 all squared minus 256 plus the 10 is minus 246. Okay. So that is example number three. Right, number four, 3x squared minus 9x plus 5. Factor the 3 out of the first two terms. Complete the square on what's inside that bracket. So half of the 3 is minus 3 halves squared. 
take away that number squared, so take away 9 quarters plus 5. So multiply then through. 3 lots of the minus 9 quarters is minus 27 quarters. Still got that plus 5 on the end. Okay, so uh, minus 27 quarters plus 5 is minus 7 quarters. Okay, and there we are. Square is completed. Okay, so that's number 4. Number 5, we have minus x squared minus 8x plus 7. So the coefficient of the x squared here is minus 1. So I'm going to factor minus 1 out of the first two terms. Keep an eye on the sign there, minus uh, positive, plus eight, uh, positive 8x. Right, now complete the square on the inside. So x plus 4 squared minus 16. And then we've got the plus 7 on the outside. And now multiply through by that minus 1. So minus x plus 4 squared minus minus 16. So plus 16 plus 7. And so we've got minus x plus 4 squared plus 23. Okay? And so that's example number 5. Example number 6. Minus 5x squared plus 20x minus 9. So factor the minus 5 out. Minus 5 times minus 4x will make the 20x. Complete the square on the inside. Then multiply through by the minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20. Plus 20, take away 9, plus 10. Okay, so that's number 6. And so finally, number 7. 8, take away 3x, minus 2x squared. Now, unhelpfully, I've written that in a different order to the other terms that we've had. So, we could always rearrange it back into that format. so that we don't need to worry. We arrange to your heart's content. Now we can factor the minus two out of the first two terms. So we're gonna have x squared. Now this is where it gets a little bit more fiddly. Uh, we're gonna to have to have plus three halves x in order for minus two to multiply with the three halves to make minus three plus eight. Right, so we've got x plus a half of three halves is three quarters squared, take away that number squared, so 9 sixteenths, plus 8. Multiply through by the minus 2. Uh, minus 2 times minus 9 sixteenths is plus 9 eighths. And so we've got minus 2, x plus 3 quarters squared, 9 eighths, plus 8, is 73 eighths. Okay, and that's how we can deal with the last one, number seven.